Now, from my last capsule, you might think that I'm against intermittent fasting. I, I'm not. It, it's a strategy that I often use with myself. Uh, I also use it with some physique competitors uh, uh, in certain circumstances. Um, so there are good things with intermittent fasting. Uh, the first is it, it keeps you in sympathetic mode for a long time. I mean, when you are eating a significant amount of food, you are putting your body in parasympathetic mode or the rest and recover mode. If you have to be active during that period, then it becomes really hard to function at an optimal level. If you stay in sympathetic mode, the fight or flight mode, then you are a lot more efficient when it comes to doing physical tasks and mental ones. So in that regard, intermittent fasting for people who are very busy, who, are, uh, who have to perform at a high level, it can be effective. It's actually one of the reasons why it is quite popular among mixed martial artists who have to train several hours a day because they have BJJ in the morning, then they may have conditioning, then they have boxing training, always have to be on. So if they are spending time digesting and uh, absorbing food, then it might not make for optimal training performances. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that it can actually make your body more efficient at utilizing fat for fuel by upregulating the enzymes responsible for mobilizing and utilizing fat. Um, so either if you are uh, fasting for 14, 16 hours a day, or if you are using the 5-2 uh, intermittent fasting approach, you are teaching your body to rely on fat for fuel. That's actually why sometimes with figure competitors that have a hard time losing fat, then I will use one or two days of fasting during the week and they become better at utilizing fat for fuel and then it kickstart their, their progression when it comes to body composition. Of course, I don't use that with every type of athlete. If they leave a stressful lifestyle with high cortisol level, it's probably the worst thing you can do. But if their stress level is under control, it can be a worthwhile strategy. Uh, so these are two things that I've, are positive when it comes to intermittent fasting. Another positive thing is that it frees up most of your day. If you have to stop your day, four or five times because you have to prepare your food and eat and you are very busy, it can be hard to do your eating on a run. You have to eat crap because you have to have fast food because that's the only thing that you can have fast enough, for example. So, so in that regard, it is also a positive. It doesn't, make that, it doesn't mean that you will be able to progress physically, but at least so when it comes to planning your day, it can be effective. The last element is it can give your digestive system a break. I mentioned in the previous capsule that overloading the, the, the digestive system in the evening might not be such a good idea if you have to eat 4,000 calories at one sitting. But if you don't have to have a huge amount of food in, during your feasting or eating period, well, during the fasting periods, you're giving your, your digestive system a rest which might actually be good for your health. That is, in my opinion, not the strongest argument for intermittent fasting, but it's been put out there, so I am mentioning it. In my opinion, the main benefits are more in a matter of upregulating uh, the fat mobilization mechanisms, uh, as well as uh, being able to stay in sympathetic mode longer, which will actually enhance physical and mental performance as long as fatigue is not excessive.